let's talk about fishing. Not the type of fishing with the rod, but it's instead spelled P-H-I-S-H-I-N-G. The internet has many good websites that help us work and play. There are also many bad websites which can trick us into sharing our username and passwords which can lead to our email accounts and social media sites being hacked. Some of these websites are made to look exactly like Google, Amazon or Microsoft. But indeed, they are actually fake websites designed to capture our username and passwords. These are called phishing sites and they are a real threat to the internet today. Phishing scams can be very tricky and often come to us via email. Therefore, the best advice is to read these emails properly and look out for these telltale signs. Ensure they are written well with proper grammar and they address you by name. If it is asking you to change your password and it seems very urgent, that's also a telltale sign that is probably a scam. Having a strong password can help prevent your accounts from being hacked and installing internet security software can go a long way from weeding out the bad sites and phishing emails from reaching your device. Let's talk about cyberbullying. We often say mean things about someone or a company or business online. That might seem funny, but it can be quite hurtful. When you say something that's hurtful, harassing, or threatening to someone online, it is referred to as cyberbullying. Cyberbullying can be done via WhatsApp or text messages. And it does not only have to be limited to text but can also be images, which is sometimes referred to as memes. These images can be very funny to you, but can be quite hurtful to the person in the meme. And it's very easy for you to share, and before you know it, the cyberbullying act becomes viral, and the person has nowhere to run or hide. We must take cyberbullying seriously, and try very hard not to engage in this type of activity. There are laws in place which can get you and all your parents in serious trouble if caught engaging in cyberbullying activities. So please, think before you post. Is what you have to say true, helpful, inspiring, necessary, or kind? If not, you may want to reconsider posting or not posting at all.